Welcome to Process JSON in Ale Like a Pro. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, happy holidays to everyone. This is, uh, I guess, this is a this is a little uh, holiday present, uh, just a tiny little uh, cool thing that we can actually do with JSON. Um, and, I, and I believe I have not shown this thing before, so uh, it's a present. Um, but we work with JSON all the time now. We get JSON uh, from web services, there's JSON structures all the time. And uh, usually if you see me in the, in the, in the videos, I try to process it um, structural uh, because that is the fastest way to, uh, to, to get the data out of JSON and into whatever you need. But sometimes you, you have a big JSON and there's just one specific thing you, you, you want. And uh, there is an actually pretty cool way to do that. Um, it's like the, it's a distant cousin or a close related, whatever, to uh, the concept that we know from XML called XPath. Uh, and you guessed it, in, uh, in JSON it's called JPath. Um, and um, it just happened that, let me actually show the screen, that Business Central has a function to that called select a token. Um, and um, we can see that it's a function on a on a token. So select the token, and you pass a a text and a var token, and it will return OK if um, if I find something. That's pretty cool. Uh, and here here's a semi uh, uh, present on thing that. Microsoft's documentation is getting really good. So you scroll down and you find an example here. So we have a JSON here. So there's a object. So you see, whenever we have a curly parenthesis, that means this is a JSON object that starts. Whenever we have a square parenthesis, that means that now it's a JSON array starting. So we have an object. And the strange thing compared to XML, the strange thing with JSON is that the outer layer is not a thing. Uh, that's just that's just an object or whatever. So, so the the start of of, of a JSON uh, structure does not really have a name, uh, and the people are sometimes thrown uh, thrown off about this. But but that's just the way it is. So anyway, in this case, we have a object that has a uh, one child called company. And that has another child called employees, which is an array, and it's an array of of objects. Uh, and each object has two fields. Let's use that word: one called ID and the other one called salary. So down here, they created a cool example of this. Um, and what I did just before the video started is that. I copied all that in here, so we can try it out together. Um, so there's a function called select employee salary. It takes a JSON token. So when do you use an object? When do you use a token? Well, you use an, a, a JSON token when this can be anything. Uh, so we could we could change this to be a a JSON object, uh, and then we would take company data. Mm -hmm. And we actually, I think we have select token also directly on the object. Uh, otherwise, we can see as token and then use uh, that. But when we have a JSON token, that means that it can be anything. It could be an object, it can be an array, it can be a value. Uh, we don't care. Um, so it takes a JSON structure. Uh, it takes a employee ID and it returns a salary. Um, and how does it work? Well. We can see that there's a query. Wow, I caramba. Uh, let's uh, see if we can make this bigger in a better way. So the query here says dollar. And remember the thing on that we don't have a name for the root in a, in, in, a, uh, in a JSON object. So the dollar sign, that is the root uh, of, of the whatever structure we have. So root dot meaning now this is a child element and company that's the first child object dot employees that's the next child object and then 
we know that this is actually an array. So we can use some fancy uh, syntax here saying that we need to find something that has an ID equal what we pass into this. So if we go and look here, oh, no, hang on, where am I? Go and look here, we can see that we have uh, John, salary of seven. Um, so if we try to, uh, let's use this function. And and up here, I just, you know, JSON line feeds in JSON doesn't matter. So I just put it all in one line. So we have J, which is a JSON object. So now we can do a message and we're gonna say, select employee token. No, select employee salary. And we're gonna pass J here. And then we're going to pass John. Wait, if I can spell it even. There we go. Um, and what is now, it said that because J is actually a JSON object. So in this case, I had to pass it as a token because that's what the function is doing. So let's hit a five and uh, deploy that. And I probably need to authenticate. So here we go. Seven. So that is actually pretty cool. Um, one thing that's worth mentioning is that if you have a big structure and so okay, yeah, I need a lot of data from, from deep into the structure, you don't want to do select token. Uh, from all in because select token will just you know have to process the inside the, the entire uh, entire thing so it's it's not it's not a performance function but it's a very convenient function um, but we can see that this was actually the example here is is cool but it also ended up being slightly difficult to understand question mark parentheses and then at dot id um so so how do we do this and um what i found was actually this little thing so jasonpath.com um and uh, this one will actually you see it already have something that looks similar to uh, the Microsoft example, but see, we can do that. So now it's, again, you see the dollar sign in this case, dot phone numbers. That's this object, which is an array. And then we can see here that colon one dot number. So it give, give me one, the colon. So if I say colon two, then I actually get two numbers. If I say zero, then I get the first. If I say one, then I get the second. Um, and 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 we can we can you can play around with it and and you can get apply a filter ah so the question mark is apply a filter uh, and and we can go even further here and uh, from this side there is a you know complete documentation on how do you actually do JSON. Uh, on JPath. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm not going to go through all these different examples, but if if you look at a big JSON and you want to drill down, say, ah, that's the one I need. You, know, you can use uh, you can use select token. You can play around. You put your in input your JSON structure in here. Uh, and uh, and figure out how it works, and then just put it into your AL. I think it's pretty cool. Little uh, holiday gift here. And uh, now I am off to uh, actually to play uh, play Christmas music. Uh, so uh, happy holidays to everyone. And uh, if for some reason you need more AL uh, hacking, this video is for you. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.